Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Harmony One, whose current price stands at the 0.02314 dollar mark. And here on trading view, the market is down by negative 0.22 percent. This is after seeing a nice recovery yesterday. And in this video, I want to give the key scenarios that I expect to play out. And I'll be basing my analysis on the Edio waves and the Fibonacci's, and also give you the key structures that we have on the pattern on the chart. So if you're interested in such content, make sure that you stick around till the end of this video. I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart. From the all-time high, we have been seeing these lower prices in in this massive ABC correction, and the ABC correction has taken us to around the 0.016 dollar mark. And by so doing, I believe Harmony One has done whatever it needed to do in its ABC correction, and soon we might see that pump to the upper side. In this Edio wave pattern, have taking us back to a all-time high in that wave five. And before all that plays out, there are key scenarios that I expect to play out, key areas of resistances that we need to break above, and that is what I want to briefly discuss in this video. So going to the four-hour chart. Here on the four-hour chart, everything has been playing out according to what I had said in my earlier videos. For those that have watched them, and I had this pattern that we had down here, which was a uh, we had this triangle down here, which we broke out of to the upper side. We also had this channel that we had been trading within. We also broke out of that channel to the upper side. We are also trading above the 20-day MA, the 9-day MA, and the 50-day MA, which is very positive for Harmony One. Some of the patterns that I had here are, are this triple bottom that I had drawn here. We we are coming to the lower side in very impulsively, hit that bottom, then try to make a high. We didn't manage to go to the upper side. Then we went to the lower side once more tried to move once again then we got rejected at that area of resistance touched the bottom once more then tried to push to the upper side got rejected once more then we did it again and finally we broke out of that channel uh, of that pattern to the upper side though it's not that perfect we had a we had a triple bottom here which we can perfectly draw nicely on on a higher time frame like the one day time frame but here on the 4 hour chart it's not that perfect but we had this neckline on this horizontal area of resistance at around the 0.019 dollar mark and once we broke out of that channel which was that area of resistance we continued pushing to the upper side and I had a target area of the of the height of the neckline of that of that double bottom or triple bottom that we had over here so if i place that height to the point that we had that breakout you can see that we broke a significant area that is equivalent to that height and we continued pushing to the upper side to that key area of resistance at around the 0.022 dollar mark and once we broke above that on i know on the on the on a lower time frame that is like the one hour chart we had a retest of this area and we continued pushing higher to around the 0 0.2225 dollar mark and that area matches this yellow target that i have here on the chart and that i i placed it over there using the fibonacci so from this height up here if i use the fibonacci to the to the low that we made down there you can see that this yellow target lies between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.618 which is the minimum that i expected this wave to the upper side to go to and then give us a retracement you can see we went and made that high at around the 0 0.382 fib level that is at around the 0 0.02485 dollar mark then from there we started having a retracement to the lower side and that movement gives me 
the scenarios that I expect to play out here. And the first one is that we can continue pushing to the lower side in that retracement. And in that movement, it's possible that we go to this key area of support that we have at around the 0.022 dollar mark. And once we touch that key area of support, we can then have a nice bounce to the upper side and break above this high that we made over here. And if that happens, we can maybe have a retest of that area and then continue pushing to the upper side. And that move should take us to around the 0.03 dollar mark. It's also possible that once we have that retracement and maybe touch that key area of support, it might not give us support and we break to the lower side. And that would mean we can go back to around the 0.019 dollar mark. And because that is the next area that we'll be finding our next key area of support. And maybe from there we can have that bounce to the upper side. And it's also possible that we might not retrace that much and have that reversal to the upper side from the uh, current prices that we are having and continue pushing to the upper side and that move can take us to around the 0.03 dollar mark but maybe we might need to go to that key area of support down here so that we can have a solid support to give us that pump to the upper side and that key area of support note it's close to the fib level 0.618 fib level so if we break below that and we also lose the FIP level 0.618. I think that would mean it's possible that we get, we get to the 0.19 dollar mark because it's the next key area of support. And also it's on the FIP level 0.7786 FIP level. So those are the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing it on the Fibonacci's and also the support and resistances. It's also possible that maybe we have seen the law for Harmony 1 and soon we might see that pump to the upper side and this whatever we, we have right here can be the wave 1 of the 5 waves that we have in the first wave to the upper side that is Note that a wave 1 to the upper side of, of the Elliott wave contains other five, 5 waves like that in this massive wave 1. So it's possible that whatever we are seeing here might be that wave 1 to the upper side because maybe, maybe the low is in. And the minimum that I'll expect that wave 1 to the upper side to do, I'll be trying to get a target using the trend based fib. So I get the trend based fib and connect two lows and one high to get another high. So if I do it like that, you can see I get a target area between the 0.027 dollar mark. So if we continue pushing higher and we get to the 0.027 dollar mark, it's possible that that might be the wave one of that higher wave one count to the upper side so we need to be patient and see whether we are going to get to around the 0.027 dollar mark and if we break above that and get to around the 0.03 dollar mark that will be giving me confidence that that could be the wave one of that idiot wave that i have shown you here and if that plays out i'll keep you updated and if i go to the indicators to see whether those moves can be supported here on the rsi we are in the oversold region and that would mean soon we might see uh, lower prices on the chart to try and create room also on the rsi for us to continue pushing to the upper side so we need to prepare for a little bit of a retracement of the, on the chart also on the on the macd we're just seeing an increase in volume there's no bullish cross or bearish cross. We need to be patient and see how that plays out. If I also go to the daily chart to see how the indicators look like. On the RSI, on the RSI we are trading at around the 47 mark. And that would mean we have massive room for us to continue pushing to the upper side. So 
if we get a bit of a retracement on the four hour RSI that would be very nice because on the on the daily chart we have massive room for us to continue pushing higher and if we get to around the 0.03 dollar mark then it's possible that we might be headed for higher prices and that's the update for Harmony 1.